What's up everybody on YouTube? It's your boy Vidugo Vibes here and welcome to another video. New setup for now because my room is really fucking hot. Today's video is going to be a little bit different but similar in a way. I'm doing my first take or impression slash showcasing the Uniqlo U Spring Summer 18 collection. Why does this happen? Just turn off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the Uniqlo U collection. I'm going to show you guys my favorite pieces and some pieces that are going to be very... That pieces that are just fire. And let me say to you right now, this collection is by far one of the best ones that Uniqlo U has done. If you guys know what Uniqlo U is, it's basically a collection branched off Uniqlo and collaborated with Christoph... Christoph Lamare? Is it Christoph? I feel like Christopher. No, it's Christoph. Christoph Lamare, which actually has his own brand, Lamare. The brand Lamare focuses on materials and the way everything fits and the color palette. But when you convert it into a Uniqlo point of view, you've got the price point, the materials that Uniqlo uses. So it's not going to be as expensive and a lot more. It's not going to be as delicate as Lamare, but the color palette and the fit is still there. So that's one thing we're going to really look forward to is the color palette that Uniqlo U has for this season. It's very bright. It's very out there and I love it. So I've got my laptop right here that... I've got the website here. <laughs> it's nothing else, fam. Trust me. But um, I'm only I'm only ever going through the menswear collection, and I'm gonna move over so we can get some sick ass fucking photos. But um, I'm only gonna go over the menswear, obviously, because that's what I'm gonna wear. Sometimes women's wear garments do fit, and they do fit really fucking well. Prime example are my Uniqlo trousers from Women's Line. They are beautiful. But we'll start with the outerwear first. And looking at this right now, I love, I love this Harrington jacket, bro. Holy fuck. It is a classic Harrington in a contemporary fit. Chambry, chambry cotton twill with a contrast warp and weft yarns to add luster and subtle hand. And also features a water repellent finish. Comes in black, beige, like a blood orange, reminiscent of Rick Owens, obviously, which I love. And the teal, the teal I'm not a fan of. I don't wear that color. But the beige, perhaps, I'm definitely going to try to go for that um, blood orange one. It's sexy. It has that nice high collar that you can zip all the way up to the top. It's very, um. I'm going to put a picture of the Rick Owens garment, which actually looks very similar to this. And dude, I love it. And it also has um, pockets on the front as well, that flap on the inside which is great. And also following with the second outerwear piece, it has to be this windbreaker. It's the U-Short windbreaker, cut from a compact plain weave cotton, water repellent finish to keep you dry and exterior patch pockets to provide ample storage. Comes in a light blue, almost a gray, similar to the power phase. Also comes in a black, blood orange as well, same color and also a plum color. God damn, that plum color looks hard, bro. That looks nice. I mean, the black, I mean, you can't go wrong with. The power phase color, that light bluish gray, probably not. But that blood orange, the plum and the black is sick. And also the price point on these garments actually aren't too bad. This windbreaker is a hundred bucks and the Harrington jacket's 130 for two outerwear pieces that is pretty cheap. I mean, from a Uniqlo perspective, that's really cheap for outerwear. They also have this military blousen, which doesn't look too bad. It's also 130. But I'm not too much of a fan of it because I don't like that um, quilted weave lining that runs along through the whole garment. I'm not a huge fan of that, but I do like the pockets, the really 3D pocket styling and the collar, the um, mock neck collar as well. It's very similar to the puffer jacket from JW Anderson and the Uniqlo collaboration. That's pretty sick. But um, other than that, the setup jacket's like a blazer. I don't wear that. The pocketable coat, nah. And also that block tech coat as well, I wouldn't wear because I have my Uniqlo seamless down puffer and that's going to work well for this uh, winter time coming up. Next up, we've got sweaters and cardigans and the first one is the Uniqlo U cotton cashmere long sleeve collar shirt cardigan. This looks really nice, bro. At $60 price point, it's freaking nice. I love it. I mean, I think that cardigan wave is going to start making an import within the winter season, I think personally, but we have the black. We've also got like a bright red Nah, probably not. An olive and also a blue texture, just simple blue. I think the olive and the black looks nice because I'm all about like simplistic tones when it comes to outerwear. But um, I love that simple collar and the simple buttons. It's a very simplistic piece. You can't really go wrong. You can really layer this, have a nice shirt tucked in, tucked in underneath. That on top with a nice pair of trousers and some Gucci loafers or a pair of boots would work fucking well. Other sweaters and cardigans. I mean, we've got like this mock neck 
It's called a UC neck long sleeve sweater. 100% cotton, spun to a two color yarn for a deeper and richer hue. Which, I mean, it's, it's a lot of effort gone into a $60 piece. But we've got beige, light blue again in that also pale phase color, black and also blood orange too. This is great because I like that mock neck material and I'm the mock neck, sorry, at the top. But I'm really loving the vibe this gives off. It gives off that Friends vibe. Because I'm being binge watching Friends and this is exactly what they wear. I would have much liked a freaking fat ass turtleneck. But that mock neck is very simplistic. It's very simple. It's not too crazy. Next up, we've got this cotton cashmere C-neck long sleeve. So it's very similar to the first one, but it, that's a sweater. This one's just a long sleeve t-shirt, pretty much. At 50 bucks, I mean, I probably wouldn't go there. I'd rather just get like the Supima cotton long sleeves from Uniqlo. And they also have a simplistic cotton long sleeve mock neck as well at $50 price point. That's not too bad, but I feel like I'm not gonna be bothering with those because I'd rather go Supima cotton. And lastly, they have also this, um, it's called a double face C-neck short sleeve sweat, short sleeve t-shirt. Double face jersey and 100% smooth co combed cotton mock neck collar and a classic and casual tee silhouette. They've got it in gray, black, olive, and also plum. The black looks fucking, ooh, that plum looks fire, bro. I like this plum color, it's hot. And like the inside, like the inside of the collar looks like it runs in like a dark green, almost like a, yeah, it's just dark green. What the fuck am I talking about? Probably the hardest, hardest section of this collection, bars. Has to be the freaking shirts. The shirts are fire. We've got this U long sleeve shirt in pinstripe. We've got it in a light blue and white and also a light, pretty much like a light red, if you would say. Pinstripes, beautiful, inspired by classic workwear, which workwear is making a massive wave throughout this coming year, which is sick. Features a wide fit and a relaxed silhouette. I love wide fit. I have a wide torso. It's gonna fit me well. I fucking know it is. But coming on to the next one, a convertible collar. I don't know why it says convertible collar sleeve shirt. It's pretty much bowler style with the open, with the revered collar. I think it's a revered. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, woven from a high quality, extra long staple cotton, open collar and a roomier fit for a relaxed contemporary look. And that's really what they're trying to strive for in this collection. It's more of a relaxed, contemporary, simplistic workwear type of vibe. And I'm all about that, dude. It's so clean. They've got this in a plum, white, we've got beige, and we've also got teal. Teal, I don't like that color as much, but the white and the plum, so fire. $50 price point, that's sick. And also coming up, we've got this striped convertible collar long sleeve shirt. So it's the exact same thing, but with pinstripes. And this one features an orange um, base color with red pinstripes. We've also got a beige with orange slash red pinstripes. That's freaking fire. And the teal, eh, that's, it's okay. It's actually not too bad. I like that hint of like plum slash purple stripes. That looks pretty dope. That's also at 50 bucks. And they also feature a signature loop armhole for great range of movement. Interesting. I'm gonna keep going with these shirts because these are freaking fire. But next up is the broadcloth long sleeve shirt, which features a stand collar cut. Stand shirt. Cause I need you. And I miss you. A stand collar shirt cut from a soft cotton, side slits to ensure it looks good whether tucked in or not. <laughs> That's just like so broad. Like, I don't know who wrote that because everything was so like articulate and just worded well. And then it just says, it looks good whether tucked in or not. And then buttons at the cuff. Um, but yeah, they've got side slits, so it's a lot more, uh, you can look good whether you tuck it in or not, which is pretty dope. I don't really wear mandarin collared shirts because to really get the full effect, you have to wear it buttoned up and I'm not really about that. And that's also at 50 bucks. But damn, they've got these short sleeve revered collared shirts, bro. Oh my God, these are 50 bucks a pop though. I'm like skeptical about them because I'm pretty sure the long sleeves were 50 bucks too. Like, I don't understand why you couldn't make this cheaper because you lose, you use less materials. Why you have to use the same price? You get me. So this one's just the Uniqlo U short sleeve shirt. Soft cotton model shirting. I don't know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> Open collar and roomier fit for a relaxed contemporary look once again. We've got this beautiful orange color, olive color, teal, black, and also the simplistic white. I, oh, it's actually not white, it's actually a cream. I think I'm gonna go for that orange. That orange is a really standpoint. It's very out there and it's actually what I'm 
looking to do. I'm looking to get out there, get out of my comfort zone, wear like a more louder color, you know? So that's great. And also we've got the exact same fit, but these are more pinstripes. Oh, my pinstripes are a lot more fat. These look like, like a freaking prison jumpsuit, bro. Not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, this one's the striped wide fit short sleeve shirt. So reminder for these fits, they're going to be very wide and very boxy, very Prada-esque and that I love. Um, so this striped wide fit short sleeve shirt comes in, um, ooh, comes in a uh, light blue and white, orange and white, and also a, whoa, that's a really nice color. What the fuck? I don't even know what color that is. That's like a... It's like an olive green mixed with white. That looks dope. I like these. We're probably not going to get them though, but it's a striped shirt and the other one from the last one that I showed you. The only difference is the pockets and it actually looks a little more, bit more thicker. I'm not quite sure. But the next section is t-shirts and sweats. And we've got this Uniqlo long sleeve pullover hoodie. They have this in every season and they have it in a variety of loud colors. And I remember for last season, the hoodies went first and they went really quickly because of the colorways. They're not colors that you rarely often see come from Uniqlo or fast fashion outlets, even though Uniqlo is like a completely different spectrum because they're fucking lit. So the hoodies basically come in a gray plum. That's like a plum slash peach. That's not bad. I mean, it's, I'm not going to wear that. Red. Ooh, we've got like a really dull bla beige, if that makes sense. Eh, teal, fuck it. And also navy as well. I might cop that beige one, maybe. It's like an orange beige. That doesn't look too bad. I wish that peach slash plum was a lot darker, like the first um, first section back, I kind of remember. That would have looked much nicer. That comes at $60 price point. And just a reminder, this is Australian pricing. I always forget to mention that. But this next up is the Supima Cotton Pullover. I don't know why it says pullover. Long sleeve shirt and a classic tunic cut with 100% Supima Cotton. Also, yarn dyed for a rich, deeper color. And that's what they should have done with the hoodies because this looks way nicer. So, a tunic, I mean, it's got that five buttons at the front, five or six buttons, also with that um, mandarin collar style and also has side slits as well, from what I can see. Olive, black, white, teal, and plum. That color plum is fire. That, I'm, oh, I don't even know which color I'm going to cop, but these are 50 bucks a pop, bro. Fuck. Ugh. Anyways, that's a really great piece. Next up is this extra fine short sleeve open collar polo. I don't fucking wear polos, so fuck that. Uh, we've got the crew neck t-shirt, which is basically... I, this is how I think this piece is, right? It's the Uniqlo long sleeve crew neck t-shirt, 100% heavyweight cotton, cut with a roomier fit, da 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 Comes in white, grey, black, red, and teal. This is basically, you know how you guys, I always preach about my oversized t-shirt, you know, the oversized thick t-shirt from Uniqlo. It's like 20 bucks a pop. This is the exact same thing. It's not really any purpose behind it. If you want to go and get those long sleeve t-shirts, which actually go on sale for like 10, 15 bucks at times, you might as well do that. But this next one is a short sleeve t-shirt, heavy, heavy jersey, sorry. So it's cut the exact same as the long sleeve and it comes in a variety of colors. I'm just gonna flip through a couple and just go through them all here while I'm talking. But it says cut with a roomier fit for more relaxed look and also the neckline won't stretch out easily thanks to the binding at the collar. Worded really weirdly, but um, this comes in freaking insane colors and the 20 bucks a pop, I mean, you can go Supima for like 10 bucks. Do you wanna save that 10 bucks or pay an extra 10 and get this? Meh, who knows? I mean, the colors can justify the price for not black and white because you can get those anywhere. But the other colors, maybe. Uh, we've also got an ultra stretch dry cruise sweatshirt, not a big fan of. Long, we've got a striped short sleeve t-shirt which comes in a black and white block print t-shirt. White and orange, what also is next? Ooh, we've got like this, um, this, the base color is very Rick and I like that. The base color is like a blood orange and features like a white, not white, a really bright red throughout the whole t-shirt. And last, we've got this plum base with a light blue running through. Bars again, bro, that's fucking bars. Um, I'm not, I'm gonna skip a couple of these, but this one I think will go out really quickly, honestly. It's the striped sleeve long, striped, striped short sleeve t-shirt. It's that, it's the same as the one I just showed off, but it's in this block print and it's got red, pink, it's got all these insane colors, bro. I'll throw it there so you guys can see. This 
it might be like first to sell it because I fuck with this so hard and the colors look sick, man. That's just nice. I might even cop that to be honest. That's sick. The only problem is with these, it doesn't say when they're gonna drop. Some of them do, some of them don't. You go on the website, link down below, and you can suss for yourself. Um, and lastly, we've also got this extra fine cotton short sleeve t-shirt. Soft, luxurious, 100% Supima cotton, cut for a relaxed look. Piping at the collar keeps the neckline clean and neat. Such like, it's so nice the way they say things. Like the way you say it, it just, the way they write it, it just sounds so fucking nice. I don't know how long we've gone for time. I have no idea, but we've got pants. I'm gonna make this quick. No, fuck being quick, bro. I want a long sesh, bro. I want to talk to you guys, and I want you guys to see everything in this pants section. First up, pleated pants. Double pleated for a handsome line. <laughs> Sits at the waist, cut loose for a relaxed look, and cropped at the ankle. Crop trousers, bro. That's literally wide crop trousers. Why would you not go for that? Comes in teal, won't fuck with that. Black and beige. Everyone wants beige nowadays, and beige is a great look. I think I can't pull it off because it looks very grandpa on me. The black looks fucking fire, though. Next up is the Uniqlo U five pocket jeans. I'm not sure if I like the wash on this one, though. Like, uh, what's, ooh, nah, that second wash is sick. All right, so we've got like a black, is it black or navy? It's a five pocket jean. Inspired by classic workwear, relaxed at the thigh, tapered throughout the leg, and slightly cropped at the ankle. So basically, it's a wide, tapered, cropped pair of jeans, which actually can work well for people who wear boots, because you can taper them even better and make them look nice and like almost cropped, but go really well with like boots or wires or Chelsea boots or whatever. So they've got this black or navy, they've got like this middle wash, stone wash kind of thing, and then a very light wash. The light wash doesn't look too bad in a photo. I wouldn't know what I don't know what it's gonna look like in person. But at this point, I think I would go for that second wash. But even that looks a little more dad though. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how we fucking go. I got no idea. Next up are the wide tapered pants, luxurious and textured compact cotton, relaxed throughout the thigh and tapered at the ankle for a carrot silhouette. If you guys know what a carrot is, it starts very wide at the waist and then tapers down, which is what basically everyone does nowadays, except for the fact that everyone goes wide and that's it. But these are 60 bucks a pop. We've got a pleat at the front with that nice, beautiful olive color. We've also got a light blue. Eh, I don't know how I feel about that. Black and also dark blue or navy, which is pretty sick. This next one might go really quickly. I think these might sell out fucking quickly. These are the Uniqlo U cargo pants. Cargo pants, everyone wants. Why they're doing in spring, summer, I don't really fucking know. But they've got it in black, olive, and teal, and is an update on the cargo in a cotton and nylon blend ripstop. Relax throughout the thigh and tape it at the ankle for a carrot silhouette and sits at the waist, pleated at the knee at, to enhance mobility. That's the only thing I'm not too keen on. I don't know if I like that slit slash pleat where the knee is. I don't know. I have to try it on. But um, cargos, bro, like. Those will look sick with a pair of boots. This next one though is one of my favorites. It's the Uniqlo straight ankle jeans. Now, as you guys saw on my December monthly favorites, I had my Uniqlo U wide black pair of denim. This I think is gonna follow in the same routine as that it's gonna be straight cut, cropped. You can cuff them and wear them with boots. This color, this like stone wash, whatever, it's just a simplistic blue stone wash. I'm getting that and those cuffed with boots, Cut from a 14 ounce, 100% cotton denim developed by Kiara. Relaxed through the thigh and straight throughout the leg. Slightly cropped at the ankle, which is good because if you go too long, the cuff looks too fat and it looks dumb. With this, you can get like a, like a nice fat cuff, but not over the top. And it comes in like a raw denim color that looks ugly. Stone wash, black, and also white. Yeah. I don't wear white. And lastly, the cigarette pants, which is contemporary chino in a thick yet soft cotton, sits high at the waist with a straight leg. Basically, these are a cropped pair of trousers that are high-waisted and that are straight cut. Beautiful. Come in plum, beige, black, and also light blue. Man, nah, fuck that. All of these come from a size from 28, from a 29, sorry, to a 34 as well, if you guys are curious. Shorts are pretty sick. I mean, there's not much else to say. The pleated shorts are probably the one thing people would cop coming into the spring summer season. Washed cotton for a casual lived in look. Those with like black or white CPs, perfect. Comes in a variety of colors. I'll throw them all up here. And also, car drove past. These are 50 bucks, which is a little bit 
steep for a pair of shorts, bro, not gonna lie. <clears throat> I don't really know why my voice was like that, but anyways, um, gotta get them electrolytes for that keto gains, boy. And lastly, for the accessories, we've got the shoulder bag, which everyone wants, because it's really useful, it's really handy. You can only ever put phone and wallet, that's about it. Next up is the gym sack, whatever, Uniqlo U backpack, nah, tote bag, nah. Low cut sneakers, nah. Slip on sneakers, nah. These Uniqlo sandals though, they're not that bad, man. I like these. EVA fabrication molds to your feet. Fully adjustable Velcro straps. This gives off like that nice Y3 kind of vibe, Y3 tech wear. If you're into that tech wear and you want to do it on a budget, 50 bucks, bro. Nice pair of, they look like the Soyoki, Soyoki sandals. I think that's what they're pronounced, I think. Um, they look like those and they look pretty fire, but. Yeah, that is the menswear collection, bro. I mean, I might slip through women's quickly, maybe? Double face long sleeve jacket from Uniqlo U Women's. That's fire. Safari jacket. That's fire. Bro, why do women have to always get the good pieces, man? You've got a cropped blouse which couldn't come for men's last season. Like, what the fuck? That's cropped. Sweaters and cardigans, they're all cropped and look fucking nice. Shirts look fire. That's fucking shocking, bro. Why is women's always better? I will never understand. Man, don't tell me this whole time my collar wasn't even on properly, bro. That's fucking shocking. In the comments down below what your favorite piece is that Uniqlo you line, and let me know what you guys are gonna cop next, bro. I don't know what's gonna happen with the American side or the uni like the USA side from the collection, but for Australians, for you guys watching that are from the Aussie gang. The collection drops at the end of the month in January and actually drops online in certain periods. So check the date for your favorite pieces because some drop at different times. Some will drop at the end of the month of Jan, some will drop in February. It's all up and down, which is it's fucking weird. That being said, come ahead and join the gang. I upload two videos every single week. So the subscribe button is just over there. And then also don't forget to check out my recently uploaded video as well, which is over there. And I'll see you guys in the next video on Verdugo Vibes. I'm out, guys. Peace.